The JIRA dashboard holds links to all the information you need to access on a regular basis. For the MTQA dashboard, we will copy a template and then we can customize as needed. We will discuss how to find and create a dashboard, understand the different parts and functions of the dashboard, add and manage gadgets, and create and use filters. To access JIRA, go to jira.sendgage.com using a browser such as Firefox or Chrome. Use your network username and password to log in. Once you have logged in, you want to create your own dashboard. Click on Dashboards and select Manage Dashboards. Left hand corner you select Search and search for MTQA. Add the MindTap Dashboard MTQA template. If you click the star it will be added to your favorites. Select the link and the MindTap Dashboard opens. In order to copy this you need to select Tools, Copy Dashboard. Give your dashboard a new name and select Add. Your dashboard has now been added to your menu and you can select My Dashboard anytime you need it. Now that you've created your dashboard, let's talk about some functions. These little boxes are called gadgets. These gadgets are pre-populated from copying the MTQA template. You can add gadgets as needed by click selecting the Add Gadget button. A menu will appear. It can take several minutes. Once the menu appears, you can browse the different gadgets, or you can search by name. Select the gadget you'd like, and click Add It Now. Close, and you can see that that new gadget you selected has been added to your dashboard. Just as easily, you can delete a gadget by clicking on the Down menu button, and select Delete. The gadget has now been removed from your dashboard. You can also edit the layout of your dashboard by selecting Edit Layout. You can choose different layouts for your dashboard depending on what you personally like. You can go from one column to two columns, smaller side columns, and three columns as I have set up here. Under Tools, you can copy, edit, share, delete, find, and create dashboards. And you can view all as wallboard, which will combine the dashboard into one page of text. To customize your dashboard, you can also drag and drop gadgets as needed. For example, I can take this filter results and move it over to the second column. And just as easily, I can put it back. Now that we've discussed some main parts of the dashboard, I'd like to discuss a little bit more about these gadgets you see. These gadgets were pre-populated from the MTQA template that you copied. The filter results MTQA reported by me open will display the open issues you have created in JIRA. The next, assigned to me, will display all the issues that have been assigned to you and require your attention. Reported by me, assigned to me, need to close and verify. This gadget will display all the issues that have been resolved but require action to review and verify that they have in fact been solved to close them out. This is an important step to ensure that all issues are addressed and completed. So once an issue has been resolved, it's important that you close it out. The next filter is favorite filters. Any filters you create or need to access on a regular basis can be added as a favorite to be displayed in this gadget for quick access. You also have the option to create and manage filters. One of the options you have is to create filter. When you select create filter, the filter options pop up. You want to select the project, which would be MTQA. You want to select the type. In this example, we're going to use bug. The status, select any statuses you want to show up in the filter. and choose any assignees you would like to be added. Currently, no issues match my filter search, but going forward there may be some. So I'm going to choose Save As, click Submit, and my filter has been saved. I can now return to my dashboard. As you can see under Favorite Filters, Resolved Assigned to Me, 
has been added. The count is zero, but if something were to hit this filter, it would be added here. This next filter, MTQA SPI required, not required current user, this filter will essentially show any master ticket that contains a specific label regarding the SPI requirements for the title. This gadget provides introductory information, who to contact or help, and features a search option to enter a case view ID that you'd like to see. Quick links will display a pre-populated list of the most popular links that you would use. Watched issues will display all the open issues that you have signed up to watch and follow the status of. Another part of the dashboard is this menu up here, dashboards button. We also have the projects button, which if you click on will list the projects that you've visited recently and the current project you're working on. The same is true of the issue button. It will list any issues that you're currently working on and any that you've visited re recently.